So the opening lineup for the Heat at the two and three, the superstar duo of D Wade and LeBron James. Chris Bosch is out there with Shane Battier, and it's Chalmers in at the point guard position. And for the Bulls, their front court, Lou Aldang, Carlos Boozer, and Joaquin Nolan in the middle. Jared Rose runs the show with Rip Hamilton to the side. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, what I like about Boozer is his ability to score with either hand around the basket. He's also got that mid-range jump shot with the high arc that's tough to stop. Uh, so Boozer is an imposing player on the inside and, a, and an efficient scorer as well. Well, he possesses a nice offensive skill set, Steve. I mean, he can make the jump shot, but also fairly polished down there in the low post with a variety of moves, particularly the um, jump hook with both hands. Good on the second free throw. And you could actually see it on the Bulls' faces and in the body language of the players last season when Rose tore his ACL, Kevin. It just took all of the wind out of their sails. Now here's Wade, averaging 22 points a game. Dang against Chalmers. Outside Dang. Dishes it to Rose. Shot clock at six. Over LeBron. Rose gets the bucket. And his skills go well beyond just his scoring ability. They really can run their entire offense through. Hamilton against Wade. And the pass to LeBron. LeBron gets the screen from Betty. A picture-perfect screen play, and the jumper's good. That's what a good solid screen will do for you. It gets you a good look at the hoop. And no good trying to get that one. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Bulls lead by one. From the United Center in Chicago, back in a moment. Next Tuesday night, Rudy Gay and the Memphis Grizzlies take on Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls. The East against the West. You don't want to miss it. And off we go. A close game now starting the second quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls? And this team has done a nice job on the glass. I think that's how they've built this lead. They've been very physical, really established a presence in the paint. Well, they've chased down those balls. As soon as they've hit the iron, they've been chasing them down. That's been a solid effort by them. So with Bosch on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. Ray Allen and LeBron fill out the wings. Lewis is out there with Hazel. And it's Cole in at the one spot. Heinrich against Lewis. A shot by Heinrich, no good. And Cole kicks to LeBron. Oh, oh, look out, man. Already Ow. shaking. A little added hang time right there. Yeah, letting himself down easy, it looks like. Soft landing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little better for the knees, so I don't blame him. That was a nice replay brought to you by Sprite. There's the dish to Gibson. Heinrich. Back to Gibson. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. And Bellinelli kicks to Heinrich. Six on the shot clock. Count the bucket. Heinrich's got his first points of the game. Just four seconds left in the first half of the game. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And we're through two here and a good one. It's the Bulls. They're up by one. Folks, stick around here at halftime for the halftime show with Damon Bruce for all the highlights from our first half. Now, presented by Sprint. And it's been a great game out in Chicago. Thanks for joining us. The Bulls are in a close one against the Miami Heat. They've done a great job closing out their defensive possessions, grabbing boards, great rebounding. Derrick Rose is their leading scorer. He hasn't put up overwhelming numbers, but without him, where would they be so far in this one? 
and it was a good first half as well for the Heat. This game's lived up to its billing. Two fantastic teams duking it out. Just an impressive all-around team effort out there. They're going hard. The first half, a productive one for LeBron. Rashard Lewis also kicking in. That'll be all for this episode. It's in the books. I'm all done reading. Thanks so much for watching, and enjoy the second half. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. Luol Dang, Carlos Boozer, and Joaquin Noah, the front line. Toes and Rip Hamilton man the backcourt. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. Heat on D. They trail by one. And going against Chicago, their first game of the NBA's regular season. Well, we saw how competitive and entertaining the season series was between these two teams last year. That was fun to watch. LeBron kicks to oh, 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 ridiculous. Pour it down that time. <laughs> Nasty, nasty, whoa. <laughs> and that look right there on Clark says it all. <laughs> <laughs> He's not alone, Kevin. Hey, that was just mean right there. Special thanks to Sprite for that sweet replay. Here's Rose, averaging 22 points a game. Hamilton outside. Back to Rose. Tipped. Wade drives in over Hamilton. Shot is no good. Hamilton with some nice D. Shoots the three. No good on that last second attempt there. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. He lead by one. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. Tune in next Sunday. Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors take on Dwight Howard and the Los Angeles Lakers. Do not miss it. As the fourth quarter gets going, let's swing it over to Doris Burke to find out who's had the Sprite uncontainable game. Doris? Kevin, LeBron James has had uncontainable game in this one. His team leans on him for so many of their rebounds, and he hasn't disappointed as he leads that category right now. We'll see if he can continue to carry that load, guys. All right, Doris, I guess no one should be surprised. This is what being a superstar is all about, raising your level and rising to the occasion. Yeah, we've seen him do it so many times in the past, and he's done it again here today. So with LeBron on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. Mario Chalmers in the electric D-Wade at the guards. Haslam and Bosch are up front. And it's Allen in at the three spot. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Chicago making some changes. Boozer comes in for Taj Gibson. And Richard Hamilton has subbed in for Luol Dan. LeBron, he's checked in for Miami. Chalmers best throughout. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. I mean, now's the time to use the clock to your advantage. Take your time. Milk the clock a little bit. Boozer. Wade is covering. Fader on the way. Sinks it. We're seeing the blazing hot version of Boozer. And it's the Heat with the ball. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Right side, Bosch. Shot off the screen. Rose with the rebound. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick. Just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. Guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. Here's Hamilton. And he commits the intentional foul. Well, you do what you have to do to extend this game and try to get the ball back. In this situation, clock management crucial. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. That slams the door, guys. No chance they're getting back in the game after those free throws. Using his strength nicely there to ensure the rebound. Good work. And so it's Chicago winning this one. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was, and I think it came down to 
will more than skill. They went out and got this one. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan player of the game, Derek Rose.